I think digital needs to be fixed in a way in that it can fix the world. I showed some examples from remote places like Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, where actually digital is helping fixing people daily problems. So uh, whenever we think about innovation, we think of coming out with something completely new from scratch, building a new technology, but in fact, digital can fix with the technology that we already have some problems that, for example, here in Germany, you guys might not have, but in Colombia, the access to the internet and in Ecuador, the, to measure how uh, uh, the cylinder, the gas cylinder, if it's empty or full, daily examples like this that digital is already fixing. So if I could fix something on digital, it would be to help digital fix more things. So to make it more accessible to people with all the technologies and to help creating like a new, uh, a new meaning for the word fix throughout the globe. Because now we fix things in different ways according to different cultures. But digital is like a global thing. That's why I think digital should become more global than only a global thing. So, I mean, it's a global asset to help solve local problems of people. I've lived in Denmark. I went to high school in Denmark. So I've been uh, very much in contact with the Scandinavian culture. And one thing that's different from Latin America, where I come from, I'm based in Brazil, is that here, in Scandinavia, in Germany, in Europe as a whole, everything is almost ready. You guys are a very old continent, so things are set up already. So uh, you're kind of more afraid of doing mistakes than us. Because for us, things are not actually ready yet. We're still improving things. So there's a lot of mistakes going on all around. So if we do a mistake, it's going to be only one more mistake. So it's not going to be that harmful as I think it's here. So I believe that we are both, uh, everyone is, is creative in a, in a way. Human being is a creative being. But Brazilians and Latin people, we kind of try out more in everything. When you think of football, we try new dribbles. We like to, to improvise all the time. That's part of our culture. And for you guys, everything is, is really fixed already. So we're more afraid of doing a mistake because then we'll come up more. So my piece of advice for all the Europeans would be don't be afraid of doing mistakes. Because innovation comes from mistakes. In the future, humans will be paid to do something that machines can do, mistakes. Machines don't do, don't do mistakes. And if you try to compete with the machines, you're gonna lose to them. So let's do something that machines can do, mistakes, and let's learn from them. Let's fail fast. The more fast we fail, the more fast we learn, and the more fast we innovate. Many people think that uh, dealing with technology, the effect will be something like the Terminator, the movie, that machines will come over and kill all the humans and take our jobs. To me, it's more like being uh, the Iron Man. So the machines will help us become superhumans, super workers. Because now we can focus on what we do best, is to have ideas, to create, to think, and to make mistakes that, again, machines can do. So being together with them, I think, will be much helpful in the future. But we're still learning how to deal with that. So we're in the middle of this uh, process of transition. And that's why some things are being very, uh, nowadays, uh, kind of destructive to us. But I think that's only the beginning of this journey. Once we understand how we should behave together with machines to do things, I think then we're going to achieve the best result we can have ever. So I think it's, it's only the, the, first, the beginning of our, our long journey. I think our digital future, it will look like uh, more like a human future. I have an opinion that the world digital will die. There will be no, no meaning for this world. For example, if you think of the word electronic, it came up when we need to separate things that were plugged on the electricity and things that were not. Like we had the electronic games. 
and the analogic games, the electronic watch. Today, the word electronic doesn't make any sense anymore. Everything is connected to electricity, and it will happen the same with digital. Now we have to divide things that are digital and things that are not digital, but everything is going to be digital. It's going to be like a transparent layer over everything. So I think in the future, digital will disappear because it will be so attached to us that will be like a human tool, like everything. So I think digital is here to improve our human uh, capabilities and to solve our human needs. So that's, I think, in the future, digital will be replaced by human. Well, it's the first time I come to Next, and I was very much impressed with the content you guys have here, because uh, it's not only about uh, advertising or the regular content like we have in all other festivals, but it's more about the future of uh, human relationships. It's uh, the content here, I feel it's more like on a broader way. So I'm very much impressed of, of uh, the themes you guys are discussing, because it's, it's, it goes beyond the kind of festival I go regularly, like Cannes Festival, I was at the Mexico, they're more like business-oriented festival. Here it's more like a human-oriented festival in terms of what's the future of mankind and what we're going to do. So I really like it. I want to come back next year. It's not, Brazilians don't know very much next, but it's a festival in English, the official legal language in English, so we can follow this. So for sure I'll be here next year because I love the festival and the content and the way you guys are pointing to the future is the same way I like to discuss. So it's, it's really, really good to be here.